For over a century, 35mm film has been the standard format for photographing movies in the Hollywood system. Virtually every movie during the 20th century, from classics such as To Kill a Mockingbird and summer blockbusters like Star Wars, were captured on 35mm film. However, with the advent of digital technology, Hollywood has begun the transition to utilizing the digital format for shooting movies. Meanwhile, film is being phased out and rendered obsolete. Although movie buffs and the technical savvy are already familiar with the change, the studio-mandated switch to, from film to digital may be unknown to average moviegoers. It is my intention to illustrate to you, the audience, why the movie industry should not abandon 35mm film prints in favor of digital prints. I will discuss the advantages to 35mm over digital, the negative impact that digital conversion will have on the moviegoing experience, and the methods to solve the issue. First, we'll examine some of the advantages of producing 35mm film over digital. Number one, 35mm prints contain higher picture resolution than a digital print. In fact, it has three times the resolution. According to photographer Ken Rockwell, when 35mm film is ran through a film scanner, the image will improve, whereas digital prints will have the same picture quality when it was photographed. It cannot look any better than it already does. Secondly, 35mm film, once it's processed, is physical and permanent. It is not susceptible to lost data in a computerized storage file like a digital print. It cannot be erased with the push of a button. And thirdly, camera and projection equipment for film is far less expensive than digital equipment and is easier to maintain. Furthermore, digital projectors cannot display colors and resolution as accurately as a film projector could. It's as simple as that. Although film proves to be better than digital in many aspects, it is digital that has come out on top in Hollywood. Which brings me to my next point, addressing the problems that the discontinu discontinuation of 35mm film prints pose for the movie and entertainment industry. Firstly, it creates problems for smaller, independent theaters that are only equipped to run film prints. Several of these theaters cannot afford to upgrade to costly digital projectors and therefore face the possibility of going out of business. Also, photochemical labs where film negatives are processed and film stock providers such as Eastman Kodak are having to shut down their facilities due to the digital takeover. Men and women who have dedicated their careers to creating a product that has entertained billions of people around the world are now faced with unemployment. The last and greatest problem in, the, in this is this horrifying fact that many films that are neither popular or noteworthy may never be reproduced again on film or digital. These lesser known films will fall by the wayside and like several silent films that cannot compete with the revolution of sound will become lost. And our final main point will focus on the various solutions that you, the audience, can help with in order to ensure the survival of 35mm film and encourage movie studios to reconsider their position on the film format. Number one, attend as many film screens as possible. Your support of repertory and art house cinemas will aid the small theater owners in the case against Hollywood's push for digital prints. Number two, Donate to organizations dedicated to film preservation, such as Eastman House and the Film Foundation. These organizations strive to keep 35mm relevant. Number three, create and or sign a petition to save 35mm from falling into obscurity. According to Jandy Hardesty at Row3.com, Julie Marquise of the New Beverly Cinema in Hollywood has created a petition, Fight for 35mm Film, which, is, which has acquired over 10,000 signatures. She is one of the staunch supporters of film and needs your help. It is up to the moviegoers to make the change. In conclusion, 35mm film still remains a viable format for making movies. We have discussed its advantages over digital, recognized the problem, and determined the solution to its preservation. And remember, the switch from film to digital affects you and the way your children will view movies in the future. Film has been around for many years and is in and its indelible impact on the movie industry cannot be overlooked. It has lasted this long and can still prosper for years to come. Thank you.